Hey, this is Jeff, and I'm your adjuster with Acme Insurance Company. Well, what happened to Joe Bob? Uh, I'm not sure who that is. I don't know. I'm, I'm just want to just want to let you know I'm your adjuster, and I, I, I could be there on you know in two days at 9 a.m. Right, and then maybe the guy doesn't show up, and then because he w wipes out, he tried to do a bunch of uh, inspections over a couple of days, and was staying up till four o'clock in the morning and trying to do everything, trying to like scope and scope and scope, and then gives up and goes home. Right, and then the third, I when I was on Katrina, I got to Katrina two and a half weeks in because I was already working a hailstorm. Like I was, wor I was already working that summer. And when I got my claims, I started making my phone calls and I had one that had seven prior adjusters. This was two weeks in, seven, seven prior adjusters. This is Adjuster TV, adjusters first. This video is sponsored by Adjuster Pro. Use code Adjuster TV at checkout and get licensed right now at adjustertv.com slash licensing. And I've been guilty of a couple of times. Now, I don't write everything in the in the driveway like you suggest. I'm you know, I'm James Mathis, I do things different. Um, I I'll go out and I'll scope, but I'll write everything the same day. It's still fresh in my brain. I've got all my photos. I don't have to. I don't have to worry about long-term memory. You know, it's all right there. Okay. And on top of that, I take notes. I actually write notes as I'm going through it. That's the way I'm doing it. You know. But I've been guilty of. You know, hey, I'm. I've been on a deployment for a while. I'm tired. Uh, man, I really need a day off. I got finished really early with with my uh, with my my scopes for the day. Man, I got, I've only got three or four scheduled for tomorrow. Let's see if I can get those in today. And I will scope eight or nine in a day, 10 in a day, and then write them all the next day. Well, I can tell you that I'm so tired that by the time I got to those last few, I struggled to remember the details, even with the notes I took. And it was, it's a bad idea to do that. Um, I'm probably about 50-50 yeah. between what I, what I write in the field um, between what I write it at home, but now that Don and I have this scenario, it's a little bit different, but, um, but it's over scoping will get you, will get you put on do not use just as fast as anything else, especially if you make, now, if you For sure. dig yourself into a hole and your manager works with you and they can see that you've, you've, you've learned from your mistake, you know, and that you know not to do that again, yeah, you'll probably get a shot at it. But if you do that twice in a row, if you do that more than once, you're gone, man. They'll never use you again. I wouldn't, you know. Yep. The carrier's going to say, yeah, for sure. You. So, <laughs> yeah, and you know, I talk about this often. I think on this channel, and it's it's something that is, it's probably the number one reason that adjusters will not survive their first storm event. And case in point, um, and this has happened as recently as Adelia right this year um the first time that i saw this 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 happened or I, I kind of experienced this or saw this was on my first hurricane which was hurricane i uh ivan in uh 2004 and i'd already been an adjuster for several years i got started when i was you know in like 1999 so i've been i had done a bunch of hailstorms and i'd done cat so i had the rhythm i had my systems i had you know i was, had been spending several years building my efficiencies and so plugging in hurricane claims into my hail claim workflow was easy because it was it's just, you know, it's a house still and it's just slightly different damage, but it's to the same materials. Anyway, so, and this happened on Katrina when I got deployed on Katrina as well. I, uh, um, people were washing out and they would, they would be bringing in waves of, of new adjusters. Like every week there'd be like a new wave of, of people and you can get deployed. Well, you know, so-and-so just got here three weeks into the storm on the third wave or whatever it was. And the reason, one of the reasons why was because the, the person that first gets that claim when so-and-so, you know, the homeowner, Sally homeowner files her claim for the damage to her house, they call, right? And they say, Hey, my name's Joe Bob. I'm your adjuster from Acme insurance company. And, uh, I just wanted to let you know I'm your adjuster and I'll call you back in a couple of days. And, and, uh, and set up an appointment, right? So people will do that, which I think is, don't do that. Make the appointment with the first time you get them on the, on the phone. And then a day or two later, 
And then that person like flips out and can't because they're, they're absolutely overwhelmed. They they spent you know a day and a half trying to make phone calls and they just they're like I I didn't realize it was going to be like this and they leave right t- two days in. File gets reassigned. Right, the next adjuster calls three days in or four days in whenever they get a chance, and it's Sally homeowner, same same homeowner. Hey, this is Jeff, and I'm your adjuster with Acme Insurance Company. Well, what happened to Joe Bob? Uh, I'm not sure who that is. I don't know. I'm I'm just want just want to let you know I'm your adjuster, and I, I I could be there on you know in two days at 9 a.m. Right, and then maybe the guy doesn't show up, and then because he w- wipes out, he tried to do a bunch of uh, inspections over a couple of days and we're staying up till four o'clock in the morning and trying to do everything, trying to like scope and scope and scope and then gives up and goes home. Right. And then the third, I, when I was on Katrina, I got to Katrina the two and a half weeks in because I was already working a hailstorm. Like I was, wor- I was already working that summer. And when I got my claims, I started making my phone calls and I had one that had seven prior adjusters. This was two weeks in seven, seven prior adjusters. And maybe I think one or two of them had actually gone to the house and done an inspection and then just freaked out and ran away, right? And so the homeowner, understandably, was pissed, confused, and highly skeptical that I was going to be the guy, right? I was the guy, certainly, because I knew what I was doing, but this is a prime result of being, of overscoping and thinking that being, like, having activity and moving around is the same thing as being productive. The only thing that's productive for a cat property adjuster is closing, closing those files. And and that's the, all that matters, right? Coming Amen. up on Adjuster TV. 